Hi, welcome to this tutorial. It's about InSync. There is a person on the forum of Arch Labs who is asking me how to set it up. So I'm going to make a tutorial and it's going to be uh, going to benefit everyone using InSync later on. What we have to do for any program is check AUR. So how you do that? Packer, InSync, and you see does it exist? It's an unofficial Google Drive client that runs on Linux, which supports various desktops. Fine. We have even uh, InSync Tunar, but I don't use it, so I don't install it. And these are for other kind of file managers. So I only going, I'm only going to install the number zero. And there is something specific at this point in time you should know. So it's downloading a dev file, as you can see, so a Debian file. It's unpacking it and zipping it and then making a package from it. The only thing you should know now today and maybe uh, in the future this will not uh, you will not need to do it so check it out uh, if it works without this action but today you'll have to go to super shift D for instance and there are six menus inside open box this is just one of them you have to press QT config so if you can remember QTC, that's what you need. Qt config Qt form, enter. And you have to be sure to put, uh, to make sure that this is not applied. GTK plus is, is beautiful, but for in sync at the moment, there seems to be a bug and they know about it. I've reported it and they'll fix it. But in the meantime, we have to choose something else. Most of the time I take this one, motif or, or plastic so it doesn't matter as long as it's not this one okay so that's done we save it and that's okay again he wants my password it's 200 megabytes okay fine as long as it works I don't care we have gigabytes enough and there you go so now we have a program installed we can find it and it's called in sync and then maybe we should go do and try and see if this is something they have provided. It's just less h. Well, a lot of things you can ask, but we want to start it. But you can check everything, get status and all that. Get status is for the conky, for instance, that I use it. And all kinds of information, which we don't need. Just type now, in sync start. And then it pop up. Is going to ask my well login so it's Google Drive so you have to log in with a Google account um, and of course um, here is where things end meaning you just type in the login you type in your password or can I have let me think um, yeah why not let's let's give it a try uh, everybody knows my email as well so that's no issue all the bots will have seen it. Oops, sorry. Well, the fact is, you don't even need to do that. I think you can do it without as well. Like so. And then you have to pop in your password. Voila. Take a guess what it is. Voila. Again. This should be it. Voila, save it. No, because I'm using uh, LastPass, quite, quite an interesting uh, extension you could install. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yes, allow. Setting up your account, this might take some time, doesn't take some time. You have to select a folder. You have to tell them, okay, I want to have it here somewhere in my home folder. I name it InSync. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Enter and then choose it and then if you want to unsync stuff if you don't want to sync everything you can change it here and say I don't want anything I just want Arch Labs and that's all I need and then be done with it and then finish and then you're done so is that easy now we have a folder down here somewhere file manager in sync 
and he's in he's uh, synchroning synchronizing all my files from uh, the net to my own system so that's how it works but there's a trick today to remember so super shift d qtc this is the one you should really uh, remember to set it to something else than gtk plus all right enjoy in sync